baby. That morning, I had an unusual visitor. But something wasn't quite right. It looked like he was in pain. I was able to approach him. He was very friendly. I started to assess the situation to see what the problem was. It was very apparent that something was wrong with his legs. His back leg is very bent and very swollen and he doesn't want to move a lot. So I've just called GFK Animal Shelter and they're sending a van over here to pick him up and we're going to transport him to the shelter to get some treatment on his back leg. He looks a bit old so I'm assuming maybe someone abandoned him because his legs aren't good or I mean gosh knows what happened but he's such a sweet boy. Give love to the friend. Where's the friend? Give him love. Give him love. <laughs> he really likes apricots. He was so calm and receptive to the love that I was giving him. It was as if he knew that he was safe. I named him Buddy. So the weather has suddenly changed. It's raining here. And the poor guy's trying to keep dry near the fence. So it turns out we talked to some of the local villagers around here and asked like where did this donkey come from and they said it's the people that live there they came here and they just dumped the donkey so this is what happens you can tell on the front here there's these laceration these things here and you can tell he's a working donkey they carry these carts and the thing is they pack them so heavy and so full that their back legs eventually just give out and then they don't become any use for these people anymore, so they just dump them. This is so bad. So just waiting for the doctor right now. He was stuck at the university. And hopefully they can help his legs. I mean, at this point, I mean, this is just damage over time. There might not be anything that they can actually do. But um, at the very least, he'll have a safe place to stay. Um, and he'll have donkey friends. And this is just such a sad sad uh, reality for so many donkeys here um, it just breaks my heart because they are they are the sweetest most beautiful creatures in the world they are just so gentle and so kind and so beautiful and they do not deserve this treatment at all i went to my house to get changed because it was soaking wet my jacket and I could hear him screaming, his little donkey scream. He was so alone and he's so afraid. And he, <coughs> and he doesn't know what's going on. He just knows that he's been dumped here, abandoned, forgotten about, probably never shown love in his entire life. And that's why he's just so friendly and receptive to receiving it because he's just like, oh my gosh, this is love, this is love. You're a good boy, you get high. <laughs> Getting a little dark now. I didn't want to leave him because I'm so afraid that if he goes out onto the road, someone's going to hit him with a car. Um, so I'm just staying with him. It's raining, you know. Don't worry, I'm not going to leave you, friend. Even here, in the unknown, even now, you are not alone, even here, in the unknown, even now, you are not alone, even here, in the unknown, even now, you are not alone, even We're gonna load him in here into the truck very carefully and take them to GFK. All right, so we've gathered a few gentlemen here and we're going to load Buddy into the truck here, but it's going to be quite difficult. I'm going to give them a hand here. All right, he's in. Yeah. 
Uh, he might jump. No, no, this is the jump. He might jump, so I am going to away you. Uh-huh. I'll, I'll keep good. You should be ready in mind. Uh -huh. Buddy is all loaded here, and we're going to take him off to the rescue center. It's going to be interesting. Uh, all good, buddy. So good. Operation Rescue Buddy. We have done this. Death, so it's like it's literally three degrees off. To the you can say dehydrated, but he's dehydrated. He's arched back and he, his legs. What is his like? I don't know. This is the that was the, that is if you can search on the Google uh -huh. how the donkeys and the, how the horses will make the friendship with each other. They will touch their mouth to the We're friends now. Friends! Yeah. 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 Rescue buddy, he would have died. You 
was already hypothermic and three degrees away from death. Today is a very special day and I am so excited because it has been a few days now since I've seen Buddy. I followed up with him the next day with the doctor asking him how's he doing, how's his temperature, and the doctor said he's eating, his temperature is back to normal. So I am so relieved and I am so happy and so excited to see my little friend Buddy again. My pockets <laughs> are full of apricots. My heart is just bursting. I just, I'm so, so happy to see my friend Buddy again. Cello, let's go. Okay, so on route to JFK Rescue Center. It is about 14 kilometers outside of Lahore on Padilla Road. And it's gonna take roughly about half an hour on the bikes. I'm so excited for today. I'm so excited for this, you have no idea. I'm coming for you, buddy. I'm coming. spring breeze do you not hear me in the chirping of the birds or the soft voice within that goes unheard do you not see me in each and every being if you look close you know without seeing that I exist in everything and in this knowing, you will find 
everything to ease your mind and bring you back where you belong, a place your soul has forever longed. So lift the veils for all to see your shining light and divinity. And no longer can you deny the love so pure it makes you cry. So spread your wings and take a chance with a most loving embrace and sacred dance. Back to the place where we first met, that place deep down will never forget that I am you and you are me. All that connects us is the great divinity. Just, they are just such beautiful creatures and all want love. That's all they want is love, right? You just want love. <laughs> you want to come up? Come up. Okay, okay. There we go. Is that better up there? Is that better? My hope the truth and my dreams is for you all to see that this love, this divinity, is inside of you. And this light this beautiful light. This is what is going to heal the world. massive thank you to the entire team at JFK Rescue Center. I couldn't have done this without them. Their endless efforts are absolutely amazing. Uh, this center was originally created by an individual couple. Um, they unfortunately lost their beloved pet dog, Kiki, who was a rescue dog um, due to police culling. And in her memory, um, to seek justice for her, they created the center to help as many rescues as they could. Um, this is not government funded. They do not get funding um, from any organization or any government, and they solely rely on the donations of kind and generous individuals um, to help keep the center going. Uh, the donations go to food. They have over 60 dogs and counting. Every day they're taking in as many as they can. Um, they're trying to build new kennels. They have over 30 cats now, six donkeys. Um, all of their medical treatments are taken care of. They have a 24 seven doctor on call at the center. Um, they have a small staff and all of the donations go to making a better life for these animals, to getting them better, to rehabilitating them and hopefully rehoming them. The center also provides free medical care for any stray or any injured rescue. Um, so if you're in the Lahore area, please do bring them in. They will not hesitate to help you. They also help all injured donkeys. So if you're able to bring your donkey in, um, please get them help. Um, they do have a GoFundMe page. I will link it in the description below. Um, so if you would like to support this amazing cause, um, please do um, because it is helping the lives of so many beautiful animals. Uh, as humans, it is our responsibility and our duty to help the injured, the helpless and the voiceless and all these amazing beautiful creatures. Um, so I hope this video inspired you. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, this is a different video than I'm used to creating, so I would love to hear your thoughts. Thank you so much, and much love and many blessings to all of you.